let's start by having a look today at this beautiful flower. So you can see it looks almost like an orchid. It's quite striped. And in reality, they're quite small and not very noticeable if you're just walking by and not paying attention. Uh, so these flowers appear on a stalk. And this particular plant is a perennial, a herbaceous perennial, so it dies back in the fall and winter and um, appears again in the spring. Uh, sometimes you'll get some overwintering leaves if it's a bit more mild um, into the fall and winter. But, uh, so it looks quite different depending on what time of year it is. So in the spring, it's this quite tall plant um, up to about 80 centimeters in height. And it has uh, leaves that are kind of uh, heart-shaped to triangular. And they're quite fuzzy, actually, but um, not as fuzzy as another very similar plant, which we'll talk about in a minute here. So if we want to look at it and, um, and see it, like I said, it's kind of got this uh, upright shape where we've got multiple leaves coming off of a single tall stalk. But later in the year, it looks more like these little ones. Oh, is this one? Oh, no. So later in the year, in the spring, or excuse me, in the fall and winter, you'll get um, little plants growing on top of the uh, other plants. And that's where this plant gets its name, piggyback plant. So at different times of the year, it can look quite different. It can be easy to confuse with another plant called the fringe cup. Uh, fringe cup also flowers around this time of year uh, in the spring, uh, but the flowers are quite different. They're not these little orchids. They're more um, like little small white cups with little very bent backwards sort of frilly white petals. Um, so the flowers can help you tell it apart this time of year. At other times of the year they might be harder to tell apart. Uh, the way that I distinguish them is that the um, fringe cup has much much hairier leaves and stems. So you can see the stems on this are only a little bit hairy. They're not really, really fuzzy. You can see that in the sunlight there. Yeah, so you can see they're hairy, but they're not extremely hairy. And I find the fringe cup much, much fuzzier. And it doesn't do that classic uh, thing that piggyback plant does later in the year where it'll get the little um, clones or little buds produced on top. And so those little buds or little plants that are on top of the leaves can fall off and make new plants. So that's another way that it reproduces. So yeah, this is the piggyback plant in springtime. Tolmia menziesii.